Hello, one and all. We are glad to have you on board for what must surely be the most unmissable game of this season. It could seal the final destination of the title. Of course, there are minor conditions attached. As with all of these things, three points are required. Sounds very easy on paper, but it could well prove to be otherwise in reality. This is one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. The mood is really good now. The players itching to get this going. Yeah, Peter, definitely the team of the season. And it's their ability to navigate their way through key contests like this that affords them the confidence and nous in knowing that the substance within can be relied upon they're far more likely to choke another one up than choke. These lads have a great togetherness and spirit, and I expect to see it again. The action has already started. And the shot! Hoists it forward, cuts it out. Fulham were imperious when the two sides last met and the fans are asking for more of the same well that's where he wants it anything noteworthy in the early part of the match Jim well neither side has really grabbed the initiative I would say both must have come in with a view of, of not making any early mistakes so we're seeing some conservatism here and the shots that's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Hoists it high. Forward it goes. Tries to locate someone up front. Seri plays it forward. Willems. Sessignon. Neither side yet able to force a breakthrough here. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Williams gets it back gets good distance on it Lucas Anderson Kearney has been caught there it's a foul And it's Anderson. Kenny. Lucas Anderson with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. He's got away. Kearney tries to get it forward quickly. Well played, he saw that coming.
still, rather frustratingly, it is nil-nil. And here's Origi. Now it's Anderson. It's Anderson! Origi drills one in. has his flag raised for offside. And it's played forward. And that's been levered clear. Guilty of lacking inventiveness here, it's all broken down. Origi. And the referee brings the first half to a close. And both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Fulham head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Find this major game. Now the team any further forward than they were when they started out. And that's the start of another 45 minutes. Fulham clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Tries a shot! That has certainly tested the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Gets up to head it! Knocks it away. Oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Kenny, Seri tries to get it forward quickly. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw, some real no-nonsense defending. Kenny. Averted for now. Out to the right, back into the middle. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Big chance! Fair attempt, just the wrong outcome. Cleared away. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Oh, 
Well, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Forward it goes. Kenny. Lucas Anderson. are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Because of that first goal now, it's a great opportunity to make it one-way traffic and add to this lead. Blackburn showing more urgency now and to be honest Peter this is what's required it's one good challenge excellent challenge oh what oh the whistle's gone what's he given well, the referee has given a free kick just outside the box well it was deliberate it was cynical and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. He's gone direct. It's broken loose. Blackburn making another change here. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Place it towards the front. Looks to bypass the midfield. Kearney has created one goal already. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1-0. And here's Origi. Boateng. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Lucas Anderson, his scoring skills have already been evident. Fulham are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Blackburn are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Has he picked him out? He's gone for it! It 
relief. It just needed better contact. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And it's Origi. Decent looking ball. Boateng. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. Fulham certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. Now it's Origi. A real chance if he can get through. Boateng. He's gone for it! Sticks it away! Two up now, and they are cruising. Just so calm under pressure. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a knee the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, there you've got him, there you don't. Brilliant. Fulham can make their change now with uh, a break and play. We've got amongst the goals here, and now he takes his lead. Look, you can only give your all, and he's delivered in that regard. And I think the manager has probably just spotted now a little tiredness creeping in. And you know, if that's the case, then you know he's doing the right thing. Two up, and very little time left. Surely this is it. Yeah, looks very much like the final nail in the coffin for me. I have to say. The referee has seen it up. So the ribbons are attached. The name has been engraved. Now the sparkling trophy in front of the loyal fans, ready to be handed to the champions. So on to centre stage come the central characters, the individuals who, as a team, blended into champions. And this is their moment.
Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, terrific to have you along for our live coverage of this uh, eagerly awaited contest. It should provide some terrific entertainment on uh, what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. The weathermen really get it wrong, and uh, they have warned us that there is rain on its way. Shouldn't be bad enough in any sense meaningfully to impact on the game of football, but it is a factor to be taken into consideration. Plenty of other factors, of course, principally each side's concern for the strengths of the other. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. Oh, no question, that's a foul. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. very well to get to that oh that's a sparkling save absolutely sparkling his reflexes were ultra sharp better contact well plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box obviously increases your chances of the ball being met like that by someone Caballos and it's Vieto Fulham were imperious when the two sides last met are asking for more of the same. Danger averted for now. Caballos. Ball through needs to be good here. Going for goal! Middlesbrough are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter attacking heaven. Middlesbrough go ahead, one goal to the good. Decent progress down the left. Middlesbrough, whose manager was the brains behind the last win. Vieto! Oh, he couldn't get hold of it. Well, the control on receipt was far better than the control on dispatch. Forward it goes. Vieto. He's got options out wide. Cleared without complication. And it'll be a throw in. It's 
Seri. And it's Vieto. Middlesbrough have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Vass tries to get it forward quickly. Mitrovic has brushed off the ball there. And it's Mitrovic. Shot a goal! It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. This is proving to be a very good spell. The intensity is great, but uh, they've got to make it count. Played out to the right. Could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Caballos. Vass. Has a go! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Fulham really have been deserted by their composure and allowed frustration to take over, and it's not a good sign. Good interception. That'll be a throw in. Bass. Fulham are still behind as we reach out for half time. And it's played forward. Vieto, he's got through, he's got the ball, he's got, hits one! Oh, taken with style! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter, quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, I think this is a case of anything you can do, we can do too. I mean, they're matching each other like for like here. And it's Vieto. Mitrovic. Vieto hits it! Oh, poor contact, nothing on the shot. Middlesbrough, lots of touches here, but they're not making much progress. Bessic. If they're happy keeping possession... And that'll be the final action of the first half. What it has been, an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. And we are up to the break. Who wants half-time when you have a contest this good? I can only hope it picks up where it left off. 
And they come for the break with nothing to separate them. The score, 1-1. And we are already promptly back on the way. No reported change to either side during the break. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Vieto. Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Oh, they've seen lots of the ball. Time to go for it a bit. A bit of creativity and adventure. Great strength. Too strong for his opponent. Bessic. Seri. And it's Vieto. That real chance! He has done it! And the comeback is complete! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Fulham go into the lead. Yeah, they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Pass. Now it's Mitrovic. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Pass. Origi provides an outlet. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. Out to the right, Besic. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Goes for goal! It's good stuff. This is better. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Origi plays it back. Has a hit! And that has been clubbed away. Changes then in quick succession. Oh, 
Thus. Origi. Chance! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Downing. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Middlesbrough are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. And here's Origi. And it's got through. Gets away from his opponent. Trills one in. Tries to get it clear. Ball's gone out of play. And here's Mitrovic. Oh, good take in a good area. Caught offside that time. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed. But will they? Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag. And he was never going to last until the final whistle. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Middlesbrough are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. And the shot! Defending of the desperate variety. And it's Vass. Here it is now, surely! Well read, he sorted that out. Fulham probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK here. Downing. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Well, they're supposed to be chasing a goal, and yet there's no urgency or sense of awareness. They've got to wake up. Seri. Two minutes to be added on. Now it's Anderson. Pass. So that's it, it is all over. What a match, what a comeback. That is how to respond to adversity, truly deserving winners. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Well, at the moment, Peter, if you want an outfit to win on the road, I'd pick this lot, thoroughly professional and disciplined. So we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me, and we'll both see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.